Hello and welcome to the show. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the Monster Energy Supercross 3 game. A game I played a preview of a little while ago and I thoroughly enjoyed my time with it, even though I know very little about bikes. I'm going to start by saying, cars, I know quite a bit, I know how to race them generally, or certainly on games anyway. Bikes, not so much, and this is quite different, but it is very fun, it's very rewarding when things go... When things go well, shall we say. Uh, so I've been sent a, a preview version of this uh, that we have got plenty of tracks to go and play around with now. Uh, so we're going to jump in and try and not fall off while, <laughs> while I do some races. Because this is a very, very different sort of racing to what I am used to. You've got to think about a lot more. In many ways, you've got to think about a lot more with this than you do perhaps with, with car racing. Um, or a lot more in different ways that I'm not used to. Now I'm playing this with the AI, sort of the race AI on hard, the handling physics on kind of standard. There is a more realistic mode. Basically I've kind of got some light assists in terms of the rider weight movement and the, the I've got joint brakes on at the moment. And I'm not bothering with gears because I can't think of everything at once, basically. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, we've got some light assistance while I try and figure out what I'm doing with these with these bikes. Actually, not a terrible start, although the problem is we're going to rush down towards... Oh, turn one, and there's been a big bundle. <laughs> so, there's not that qualified for this quick race, and that means I tend to be stuck with somewhere not great, which often puts me on the outside of turn one, and if there's a mess, the outside of turn one tends to get the worst of it, shall we say. Uh, so, yeah, the difficulties that... The difficulty, but I think you have to try and learn with this is there's a lot of... It's almost like the rhythm you've got to get right across these sections. I know there is a little indicator to help you. Oh, I might have overjumped that one slightly. Yep, pulls that one up. Uh, yeah, there is a little a little indicator to try and help you. However, uh, that it doesn't tell you if you're going too fast for something or too slow for something. So it's kind of you're learning tracks, but you're learning them. It's not just like learn a braking zone like you do in a vehicle, like a car game, as I would normally. But you've got to learn speeds required for various jumps. And sometimes, oh no, that's gone wrong. Uh, I don't actually know if I can get out of here quickly. Get out of the sand pit, you bugger. That has gone really badly wrong. Uh, <laughs> damn it, I was expected to fall off there, but no, no, he just clipped it and spun the bike around. Uh, yeah, this is just a whole, a whole learning experience. You've got to figure out different ways around a, a track. Now, I like this, though. It's probably one of my favourite tracks that I've been playing around. So I'm slightly annoyed with beans it immediately. Uh, however, yeah, still got to figure out what the jumps can do. And while the indicator's helpful, there are other ways, shall we say. There are other there are other ways through some of these sections. Some I think are faster, or some I feel are faster, whether that's the case or not. Oh, like there, you might be able to get away with jumping across like four bits in the first part if you get it spot on. And it can be a lot of experimenting, and I like that. It's a very, very different sort of challenge, this, uh, which is good fun for me. I've played many racing games. I like having a different sort of challenge. Oh, crap, come on, make it. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I'm better at this track normally, I promise. Here we go. I like this corner as well. That's a fun corner. You kind of drift your bike around on the sand. Uh, there is a lot less grip, so there we're racing mostly on the kind of nice dirt around here. That corner there is, is sand or some other surface. There's a lot less grip on that, whatever it is. Uh, your bike sits there and spins the wheels quite a lot. So you can kind of almost be drifting the bike around if you want. Uh, it's just a fun corner. I'll try and get right. Oh, that's a hell. Oh, yes, I mean, we're fighting over 17th place. But it looks like there's a pretty good tussle going on up ahead. I have to say, the AIs are fun to race against. They are sometimes quite brutal. Uh, especially at the start of a race, things can get quite out of hand, as you saw a little bit. Uh, sometimes you get lovely clean starts. Sometimes everyone falls over, although I do think that is how it does sometimes go with... Oh, I turned down too sharp. Ah, with this kind of racing. Uh, I think you can end up with uh, a lot of people off at the very start of a race. Oh, this has not gone well at all. We have plummeted all the way down the order. Come on, around the drifty sand corner. And over the jump we go. Right, let's get back into the fray. But yeah, the area fun to race against. Uh, on the most part, they can put up a, they can certainly put up a good challenge. Uh, from the very early version I, had, I, I played of this, they seem to have got a bit more sensible in terms of their lap times, uh, which is good. Uh, we're going to try. Do I go, go around the outside here? Oh, well. <laughs> hope it for a be slightly slightly smoother around the outside there, but apparently not. Oh, and there are also like lots of different lines around the corners. We ignore even the jumping side of things. Around some of these turns, there are different ways of making speed. I've kind of taken to running quite high on some of the banked bits. 
I don't know whether it's a way around a corner. I don't know whether it's the best way around a corner, but it is a way around. Here we go. That's a bit more like it. We've actually got across the start finish line without having a terrible mess. Oh, I wanted to try and duck back underneath you, which we will now. Yeah, we're up to 18th position. Happy days. This is going to be a recovery drive. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't just on the outside. Bloody hell. So there's going to be a recovery drive and a half, and I haven't got very long to go here. Um, yeah, well, yeah, AI will put up a decent fight. That's a good racing. They will make mistakes as well. You know, they're not going to be going to be perfect. Uh, I've, there are a couple of races I've won because the, I mean, in second like the entire race desperately try to chase out the leader and with half a lap to go the leader falls off and they made a little mistake on a jump. Uh, they can have some really really spectacular crashes as well. It can be quite funny to watch. Oh no I've over driven that bit. Ah crap. Uh, can we get around the outside of you? We can still carry some momentum along there. That's good. I mean, we're up to 17th place. We're not going to be winning this one. Hell I'd like a top 10 but I'm not going to be getting that either barring an amazing two laps and a massive AI shenanigans. Uh, we will sneak up the inside there. That's another position. Oh, that's a, I might be jumping a little too far there. Uh, it's, again, it's just it's learning. You're learning just a different sort of racing, and I like that. It's good fun. There's an AI down over there, which has given me another position. Maybe a top ten is doable. No, no, don't say it. I know what the curse of the commentator is like here. Oh, and big jump through that. As far as riding physics go, I, I don't don't know how close to realistic because I don't really know what I would be expecting. What I do know is it's great fun. <laughs> it's very, very good fun. I mean, if you want to... Oh, hello, everybody. That was a little bit of a sneaky bounce off of the side. Uh, yeah, if you whack it all onto oh, I say simulation mode, uh, it is a real challenge. Now, that is a, a good thing, actually. It's just fun to drive on, fun to ride on, I should say. It's one of those... One of those games that I just like riding the bikes around, I like trying to learn to be faster with them. And I think that, that, is, that is a good sign. A game that you want to, you know, get better at, probably doing something right. And, yeah, well, I can't tell you the exact realism, I've got that all horribly, horribly wrong. I can say that he's very, very good fun to race with, and that's what matters. Uh, it's punishing if you get things wrong, which it probably should be, let's be honest. Very rewarding. When things are going well, uh, this race has been... Uh, ups and downs, funnily enough. Uh, <laughs> the pun kind of intended. But yeah, it, this has not been this has not been my finest race. It's not been the worst I've ever done. We are going to end up just outside the top ten. If I'd managed to get a better final lap, there might have been a top ten in it, but it wasn't to be. Uh, we're going to end up 13th position. Ugh. Could have been better. I pissed it away down one of the back straights. What was my fastest lap? 51.4. Uh, yeah, <laughs> fairly quick. As I said, I like this track. I just managed to balls it all up entirely and made a horrible, horrible mess of one section. And that can <laughs> that can cost you... You, make, you mess up one jump. One jump and you can lose a whole heap of time. Uh, so here are a bunch of the circuits. Uh, Atlanta, that's the one that I was just driving around. We are going to head towards... Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm trying to remember what one I was going to go to next uh, because I <laughs> don't know any of the circuits well enough. There was an outdoors one because I was going to play around with the rain. And how have I forgotten? Apparently I am useless. Like, I know what the picture should look like. Apparently I don't. Amazing. Um, oh, I do know. It was this one? No, it wasn't that one. We'll go here anyway. Because again, this is another track that I quite like. After, I mean, I've probably played this for a couple of hours now. Uh, after that, you start to... So you start to see consistencies between tracks. You start to learn what the little different jumps and so on uh, do. You start to, you begin to figure out what all the little bit, little different bits and pieces, little different sections are like. Uh, we can kind of wiggle around a bit on there. It's probably not the safest. There is a cheeky way as well that you can kind of preempt the start gate dropping uh, if you're really sneaky and get a <laughs> get a massive jump oh dear I might have pushed someone over sorry whoever that was there was a little bit of a little bit of argy bargy ah, I'm gonna get landed on no I stayed out I got out of trouble for the first the first quarter oh, I started to let you sneak around there uh, the game is sometimes a little keen to reset you in places uh, which is I say a bit of a shame. Like after some of the big crashes, uh, it's very, very quick to get reset. Which perhaps not quite enough of a penalty, uh, almost for some of the massive wrecks. And occasionally, like there, for example, I've got pushed out wide through not necessarily all that much fault of my own. And in trying to sneak my way back on the track, we then get 
you know, get reset from where I could have just rejoined a little further down, but don't fall off the track is probably a good a good start. Oh, it's gonna get busy down here. Uh, that's fine. Ooh, ghostly, ghostly bike appearing. Uh, landing on other bikes is a problem a little bit. Uh, so <laughs> something you've got to watch out for. Uh, the you kind of bounce a little bit off of other bikes, and that can very much mess up. It can mess up, or sometimes it can absolutely save uh, a line or a lap because uh, you ping off somebody and suddenly make it over a jump you weren't going to make over otherwise. Oh, bloody hell! You got a big whack from behind. That's fine. Around we go. Now, uh, we've started to get a little bit of a rhythm going, which is good. We're in 12th, but we're doing considerably better than we were last time. Uh, considering <laughs> not a track I know as well as the Atlanta one. Oh, come on. There we go. That's fine. We will, again, I don't know whether the high line is, is a good line. I kind of like it. It's very, very different to how I would... Oh, God. <laughs> I tend to drive other stuff, but it does seem to work. I seem to be able to get some speed. Oh, we're making a mess again. It's one of the... <laughs> So one of the most annoying things is when you know you're making a mess of a line and there's just nothing you can do about it. I'm sure if you're good enough, you can. However, me, who is not experienced enough with this stuff, like when it started going wrong, it's just like, well, I'm, I'm accepting that it's going wrong. It's going to have to stay wrong until we get out of this little section. Oh, we're going to make that work around the outside. We will. I'm going to try to get back underneath us. Oh, I should have been faster over there. Oh, damn it. <laughs> So that was one of those I thought I didn't need as much speed. Some sections you actually want to have like a little lift before you go to a jump, just so you can get into the uh, sort of next bit better, if you like. There's a better way of phrasing it. Basically, to try and get the, the rhythm, you might want to be a little slower on the way into somewhere, for example. Uh, and I thought that was one of those that I did. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, now I've really beansed it. Oh, it's going so well. <laughs> I can do a lap. Like, a, a, the one one lap in five minutes, I can probably get fairly competitive. I just don't have the skill, the knowledge. Oh, now bouncing off the top. Ah, I think bouncing off the top's not the worst thing in the world sometimes, if you get it just, just right, if you're not going to lose a heap of time doing it. Now, is it this bit here that I've been struggling with? Maybe. Oh, Christ. Uh, what position are we in? 17th? Ah, no. <laughs> just doing a little wiggle. Oh, crap. Oh, Again, at least we are finding AIs to race against. That's the important thing. We're not running around on our own. There is, there seem to be a, a field spreads out quite a lot. Sometimes, again, it's, I mean, it's motorsport at the end of the day. Sometimes that is just the way it goes. Uh, sometimes you get really close races at the front. Sometimes you can have sort of five or six second gaps between the bikes at the front and then have a manic midfield. There's normally something going on. Unless you are completely off the tail end of the field, you can normally find something exciting going on. And there's normally enough shenanigans that uh, if you do fall off the tail end of the field at the very start of a race, you'll probably get, probably catch back up. You'll probably get involved in something because someone's going to have a crash. The AI bikes, when they're fighting side by side, can sometimes give each other some grief. Uh, oh, we're going to get this right. Come on. No, nope, still not got that right down there. Ugh, and then we're a little bit wide. That's far from ideal. There's a really fun battle up ahead that I desperately want to try and catch. I've got no excuses now. We've got completely clean air. There's no bike slowing us down other than just my own incompetence. But damn it. Uh, my own incompetence is enough to slow us down. Get out of there. I think I'm not doing this section well either. I think I need to be faster. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> so, uh, control-wise you've got your left stick kind of does your steering and the right stick does your sort of rider leaning around part and I was slightly too aggressive in trying to get the bike turned on the landing there because uh, I was I was kind of like trying to preempt the next section that we were about to approach which you can kind of sometimes get away with I just leant over too much and crashed I don't know what I'm really doing with bikes I've, I've said that at the start I'm gonna continue to say it I'm learning there's a way, I think that was, yeah, there's a way, I think, to help. Ah, no, 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 I, that corner, why is it that corner? It's, that corner's just way tighter than I keep expecting it to be, god damn it. Uh, again, not Gaze's fault this, 100%, I'm an idiot. Uh, now, are we over there? Yes. Aha! Like, this is probably the best I've got this section, I just haven't managed to string a lap together. Uh, oh, now the uh, lap, I say the lap counter, sometimes can... It took a while for me to figure out. It says final lap. It is the final lap, but that's for the leaders. I'm actually about to cross the start-finish line here. Uh, try and learn where... Oh, I say where the start-finish line is. This, where you start the race is different to where the finish line is. Uh, you have like a half... Like a strange, almost like half first lap as you get launched from the gates. And then... Oh, rush onto the track. Oh, no. That was, that was the brush off the top of a ramp and 
get it all wrong, basically, we managed to do there. Uh, we are not going to get top 10 around here. It's, the race started so promisingly, and there have been... If I put all of my good sectors together, don't go wide there, you muppet, uh, I would have been okay. However, I can't seem to hold it together for a lap here. There's been a lot of falling off uh, this time. That's better. That's more like it. <laughs> So this is the thing, like, you'll have a terribly infuriating race, but once it starts to click, once it starts to click, it's really, really rewarding, which makes me want to oh, try and learn, try and drive, ride, race better. Oh, we're very wide there. We'll get, at least get a fast exit. That's us across the line. Could have, again, should have been better. It was poor. Poor from me. 43. Meh. <laughs> very middling. Very middling, and I have remembered the track I want to go to finally as well. Because it's going to show off the rain. Uh, there are weather effects uh, that they do make a difference. Now, I'm going to say it's not the biggest difference. I think that is more because it was this one that I wanted to go to. Uh, there we go. For some reason, I thought the picture was daylight, and I don't know why. But anyway, I've got to go to San Diego to finish off. Um, yes, weather conditions, they do make a difference. The rain, there is less grip. You spin your wheels even more. I'll be honest, I'm probably not the best person to tell you how much of a difference. It feels like it makes a difference. I'm not the best person to tell you how much of a difference because I'm not really fast enough in good conditions, let alone to just know. But it does feel like there is some more. It's quite, you know, visually quite a, quite a good looking game. Um, the. Yeah, weather effects are. It, it's, it's quite a soggy, a soggy race, I'll give you that. Uh, that we're going to blast our way down towards the first. Or no, no, I, I hate being on the outside. I should maybe just slow down and duck back into line. Uh, but yeah, there's the, <laughs> as you can see, the, sort of the track gets a bit cut up. Now, the bikes kind of leave a trail. It does make a very small difference to how they ride. Like, they kind of bump through the uh, trenches. They dig a little bit, but it's not the most, it's like not the most ridiculous uh, terrain deformation I've come across in a game. But it is a little bit there. Oh, I caught a bike on my head. That's got to hurt. I think that might have even been a teammate that we caught. Well, this race has also gone downhill. Ah, uh, not... Oh, no, now we're bouncing around. No, not, the, not the best of starts. Um, oh, there's another bike down. Uh, things are going to get absolutely manic, as per usual. Uh, <laughs> right, here we go. Can we get into a nice sort of a rhythm? Probably not if we do that. And up around here. And this next section, actually quite a while I like this circuit. It's a little bit different. I mean, a lot of the corners on these tracks are quite similar, but I like... Oh, almost. I like this corner. This is a fun corner. It's quite different. It's sort of like this big wide on the way in, tightening corner on the way through. Again, kind of sliding the bike around. I don't actually know if that's a particularly fast way to go. It's just fun. Uh, oh, we've actually had a very, very good uh, oh, start to the lap, although it's now been hindered slightly. Uh, come on. Come on. Oh, that's a bike down. We're going to land on Tomac's head. Not quite. Uh, we've worked our way back up to 11th. Things are going... No, why did I say that? Shut up. <laughs> oh, things were going well and then they weren't and I fell off. Oh, that's a big jump that I'm not quite going to make. Oh, caught a... Somebody else's abandoned bike. Somebody else has fallen off. There's been a lot of chaos. And to be fair, I would imagine this heavier rain... I say that. I don't actually know. I'd imagine this heavier rain these bikes, would it make chaos, or would it still, would it be similar kind of levels of I, I don't actually know. I, I would think it would make things worse. I think it would make the track conditions worse, surely. You would end up digging huge grooves in the track, uh, and then you'd have to be really careful with where you put your bike, possibly. Uh-oh, uh-oh, no, no, god, I thought I was going to fall off when I brushed one of the barriers. Uh, sometimes you get away with brushing them, sometimes you don't. I guess it just depends on how you end up clipping them. We're going to duck underneath you. Is that a little too far? Uh, well, I kind of save that. Well, I kind of save that j next jump, but I did also then jump far too high and then lost a bunch of speed as well. So there is that. Uh, it's like if you pull both. I think. I think if you pull both sticks down and flick them up, you can kind of get a little bit more height, possibly if you get it right. There is a way to do it, and I've not quite learned it yet. I'm kind of guessworking stuff and try. There's a bit of trial and error going on. Again, I'm having fun with my trial and error. And I think that's the, that's the thing to take away. I am not somebody who knows much about bikes or, you know, generally has... I say has much care. I like bikes are cool. I just don't know anything about them. And I'm having a lot of fun with this game. In some ways, that's the best compliment I can pay this one. Is that, yeah, I don't, normally 
This might not be something that I was as much interested in, but I'm having an awful lot of fun here. We're fighting over that sixth place. Oh, I wanted to go around the outside, doing a slide on my bike. That would have been fun. Uh, not quite got the power to make that one, or not quite got the traction. I don't know, whatever it was. Didn't get it right. We made it work around other places. I see third place. It's the best route. Apparently, I need rain. I guess I am British, so that would make sense. But, uh, oh, no, 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 no. It's all gone wrong down there. Uh, I think the AI might actually be struggling a little bit in these conditions, getting their flow right through here. I think maybe it's the... Oh, they're maybe not quite getting the same speed out of some of these sections, and uh, that's messing them up. Oh, no! Oh, come on. <laughs> that's, that's, I'm annoyed with myself there. I carried so much speed out of the corner and just didn't sort myself out in time. I mean, that, well, yeah, that's just me being an idiot, really. Um, that's just inexperience from me. Oh, someone's fallen over! <laughs> oh, it's just, something's going on at all times in these. It really is complete and utter chaos at some of these races. Can I sneak? Nope. Don't. I'm going to sneak up the inside there. Right, around the drifty corner. We've got a little bit more time. We've got another lap to go. Uh-oh. A uh, little little too wide on the old drifty corner. So as you don't make speed here, the AIs aren't really liking this section all that much, although me fighting with an AI has now made me slow through that section. That's annoying. Uh, can I get over here? Yes, we can. Try and position ourselves nicely. Oh. That's not going well. It's bouncing over the top. No, no, the AIs are really enjoying that bit either. God, that should have been so much better. <laughs> I'm annoyed at myself there. That could have been a lot smoother. That might be a little over-jumped. Uh, we'll, oh, we won't quite get away with it. It's just a fraction. Just a fraction too iffy on the landing and end up front flipping again. Right. Come on. We need a top ten. We need a top ten. Oh. We're going to be right on the wonky place there. Oh, two laps to go. All right. One more time around. Let's not balls it up. Let's not balls it up. No, don't push me up there. God damn it. <laughs> I wanted to sneak around the outside of you without any trouble. But you're not going to let me have that one, are you? Uh, maybe we can do something fun here. No. Uh, can we sneak underneath or just around the outside with the drifty bike? Nope. I'm going to high side it doing that. I can almost sense it at some point. I haven't yet. No. Oh, out of shape again. Oh, they're falling over. It wasn't me. Woohoo. Uh, <laughs> it wasn't me that fell. I mean, I've fallen over a lot. Ow. I've caught a bike on my head again. Uh, I'm definitely going to need to see the medical team after this. I have fallen over a lot, but it wasn't me that time. Uh, right, ah, oh, no, we've got a little... Oh, and Stuart's fallen over as well. Uh, <laughs> it's another one now. Come on. If if sixth place wants to fall over... Oh, well, how have I got... I was doing so well at that section. It's all gone horribly wrong. Oh, no, I was getting a mega run off of banking, and then there's a thing in the bike in the way. Damn it. Get out of the way. How inconsiderate of you. And this is the run to the finish line as well. Please make a bigger mess of these bits than me. No! Oh, no, wait. Oh, no, one more lap to go. Never mind. Ignore me. I guess we'll... Oh, I must have just looked as we crossed the finish line. I thought it said one. I thought it said two to go just before I crossed the finish line. Ignore me. I miscounted my laps again. Uh, <laughs> come on. Come on. We want to get seventh. I think we can do it. There's a sneaky dive up the inside there. I will take it. Uh, we will jump up here. Oh, almost. Almost got that nicely. Now... Have I got the speed across here to get this section nice? I do this time around. That's excellent. Come on. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, no one's gone. I think Osborne was in third at one point. No! It's ended up on the face again. Still seven. I guess because we had a really... We did have a good start. See, that's like... <laughs> if I can string all the bloody sections together, I'd be fine. I just can't. Oh, no, no. No, I got this again. Oh, I've not got that. Getting the transition off there is not working. <laughs> it's just, there's a lot to think about. There is a lot to think about, a lot that I'm not very good with. But, I do have fun. I do have quite a lot of fun. I have an awful lot of fun, actually, with this one. We got seventh. It's the best finish. I could probably have done a 59 second lap. If you put all of my best bits together, I'd have probably done it. I just kept falling off the damn bike. Ugh. <laughs> uh. And there we go. That is a little sort of preview look at uh, Monster Energy Supercross 3. As I said, I really enjoyed just trying to get better at this game. There is something immensely rewarding when you get that lap right. And trying to string them together for five minutes, let alone for the longer, the actual proper like full-length races, uh, is going to take me a while. However, yeah, I actually really, really enjoy the challenge of trying to get these around. They're good fun to race. The AI put up a good fight. You can have some fun battles uh, with them. You might catch a bike on your face a few times while you try and learn what you're going to fall off a lot while you try <laughs> what you're doing. But yeah, I actually thoroughly, 
thoroughly enjoy playing around on this. And this is just the kind of quick race stuff at the moment. That, though, is going to be it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, a goodbye.